So you're a Mac user and you want a to-do list app that is designed specifically for Mac. Well, there are a bunch of different apps for it and we're going to dive into them in today's video, helping you to find your ultimate Mac to-do app. So today's video is kindly sponsored by Setapp and if you're using Mac, maybe you are watching this video, then you can get over 260 apps as part of your Setapp subscription. Check it out in the link in the description if you're interested and browse all the options and deals we have with the tools today linked there too. So the first app on our list is one called Structured. And a lot of people like this because it's more of a casual to-do list app, but it's very well worked for Mac. A lot of people like it because it's a visual experience for their iOS and Android device, but you can also use it on Mac as well. Now the app is pretty simple. It creates a structured routine for your day ahead. Now that can be all the way from when you wake up all the way to the end. And the premium has some great features like an AI ramble mode where you can just talk into it and it will organize your schedule for you. A great addition if you're a casual user on Mac and you need a to-do app. Next up is Things 3. Now, if you don't know Things 3, where have you been? It's a fantastic application. It's minimal, designed perfectly, and comes as a one-off cost for Mac users. So the price for a Mac user is $49.99, but you don't have to have to pay again, which is a great bet for a lot of people. Now, the application is great as a personal to-do list app, and it's gesture-filled as an experience. The app is fast, fluid, and just works brilliantly. And it can also manage your personal projects and life areas if you're interested and just seeming seamlessly works on Mac for those who just want to use something simple and easy for themselves. So our third option is Blitzit. Now this one is a good task and timer combination. The Mac application allows you to organize lists and take everything from a backlog all the way to a today area and get things done across your day. What's nice is you can go into this Blitzit mode which is a focused view and allow you to see the tasks on the left hand side all tallied up for the day ahead. It has a Pomodoro timer, ways to include breaks, and also a reports mode to see how productive you were on a specific day in the week. So a good one, as well as Thing3, it is a one-off cost. If you want to go for the lifetime pricing, I'll include links if that's still available below. So next up is Motion. Now, I don't talk about this app uh, as much because it is much more pricier for a lot of people. I believe it's $29.99 minimum per month now, which is pretty expensive. But if you're looking for an AI-powered Mac to-do list app, then this is probably your bet. The application is well-built and has a way to prioritize your tasks in an AI system. And it has a new documents feature, which can turn all your notes and documents into tasks and then projects. So if you use it with other people, it gets better. And it has a load of more project modes and views as well, which a lot of people will like. So again, a consideration, if you want that AI-powered help for your task management to go that step further. So next up is Omni Focus 4. Now this is incredibly well known. They're built by a company called Omni Group and they have a quality set of apps. They are just well built, robust and easy to use, but Omni Focus 4 is their fourth edition of the application, but it's very much tailored towards GTD, getting things done by David Allen. So if you're a hardcore GTD user, this is almost a must have app for you if you've got a Mac and you wanna manage your to-do list. It's got some great features like forecast, planning ahead, and also uh, the ability to add loads of context modes and tags to all of the tasks that you have to help you better plan effectively. So again, a really robust app on the market if you're looking for a Mac to do app. Are you tired of looking for the right app? Well, Setup gives you instant access to over 260 hand-picked apps for iOS and Mac, all in one place. Whether you need to convert a file, clean your drive, or write that article, just type Type your task into Setapp and its AI powered search suggests the perfect app all the time. It's almost as good as having me nearby. Have you got a big goal? And if you have a big goal in mind, you can use Setapp's collections feature. This is a curated bundle of tools for a specific goal in mind. A great way to tackle some complex tasks with a bunch of tools that are available in Setapp. So each app has user reviews, allowing you to get insight on each of them before you download it, so that you can install each one with confidence. So you can try it today under one subscription, countless possibilities, and that's Setapp. Link will be below. So I wanna bring up some notable mentions in this video. So Todoist I find to work incredibly well on Mac, easy to use, 
have loads of no issues with the offline mode. Superlist is another consideration for you if you want to take notes alongside of your tasks and you want to be able to share it in a small team of up to five people because they have a generous free plan for that. Now, another notable mention is Godspeed. If you're looking for a super fast Mac to do app, this is a great one for you. It's really rapid. You have to learn the keyboard shortcuts, but again, very, 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 very fast. And they all, they, they sort of want to be the superhuman for to-do list apps, but for Mac. It's very niche, but very helpful. And the next up is my final recommendations, which is Lunatask, which again is a great one if you want to take your notes and your projects and tasks in one location, but it has other features as well. The main killer part of this app that makes it different is, is it's end-to-end -end encrypted. So if you're looking for a secure to-do list app with notabilities, this is a good choice. So those are all my recommendations. You can find them linked below if you're interested. Um, a big thanks to Setup for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in Setup and you want to learn more about it, you can continue watching this video and I'll share a little bit more about it. Um, but largely a big, big thank you to uh, stopping by in this video. If you found it useful, do thumbs up and do subscribe if you find value in our videos. Thanks very much. And I'll see you over on toolfinder.co as you're exploring more tools and resources. Cheerio for now.